time for Amp Test Tuesday. What are we gonna pick? Well, I wanted to do the 2500 watts max one, but I don't want to spend $200. So, $119.99, we get the 1100 watts max. Don't know what it says inside the book. We'll find out. All I know is when I read the back, this is what I see. So let's grab it. Let's see if it does it. All right, man. What do you think it's gonna do? At max, I'll say eight. Max, you say eight max at the most. At most. All right. Well, let's find out. All right. All right. So the box says eleven hundred. We all know it ain't gonna do that, but he still thinks eight hundred. So that's probably what most people would think. All right. Most people that go to the store and see this amp on the shelf are gonna see that huge eleven hundred watts max on the front. And like normal, I would say open up the book and see what RMS actually states when you get it. Although it's too late for someone that doesn't know any better, but just to give them the benefit of the doubt, we'll look in the instructions and see what the RMS rating is. Two seventy-five times two at four ohms, five fifty times two at two ohms, and eleven hundred times one at four ohms bridge, which is the same thing as two ohms times two. So doesn't really give me an RMS figure. It says max power rating, just like on the outside of the box. So. I guess if I'm reading this, then I'm led to believe that it does 1100 watts. Let's find out if it does. Yeah. I'm gonna be the king of the block. I got 1100 watts. Feels pretty light. Two thirty-five amp fuses. I'm not sure what that means for the amp, but maybe, just maybe, it'll do what it says. Let's find out. The amp is all hooked up. And it doesn't really have an RMS rating in the book. It just says max with two X's. So 275 times two, 550 times two, or 1100 times one is what they're advertising. I don't have anything else to go off of, so that's what we're gonna go off of right now. We're gonna go ahead and ignore the 12 volt number right now and just jump straight to the 14.4 numbers because that's what you'll see when your car is running. And if it does some crazy number at 14.4, we'll jump back to 12 volt, but let's just see if it can possibly even make its power at 14.4. Gains are all set already, previous to me starting this video, so we don't need to run through all that. We we'll go straight to certified mode. We're gonna go four ohms bridged, which is a two ohm load on each channel, just the way it says in the book. And we'll see what it does. Track four. Start the dyno. Let's go. All right, so when you're watching the amp dyno in action and you see 15.8 volts to a little bit over 16, it's not really that big of a deal. It's a 14 volt bank, 
but it's on a 10 amp charger right now a little uh, excess power Intelli charger it's just about this big it's a little tiny thing but I'm um, trying to keep the batteries full for the test so it looks like a lot but it's really not that big of a deal in fact it's probably helping the amp out some we'll go uncertified to give it the benefit of the doubt bring it up to clipping instead of distortion Two seventy two. Come on, three hundred. reason to jump down to the 12 volt battery bank because this thing didn't make its advertised power even on the 14.4 volt bank so really the numbers are what they are and um, you know keep in mind with the 81 and the, all this testing I'm doing I'm not here to bring down any company or make anybody look bad um, I just really think that they should put on the box what the amp really does if I test your 1200 watt amp and it does 199 then why not just put 199 on the box? So you could put 250 watts on the side of the box for $130, and that really isn't that bad of a deal. But I just don't get the whole 1100 watt thing on the box. It just doesn't work out for me. So anyways, thanks for checking in on Amp Test Tuesday. And remember, things ain't always what they seem. You get what you pay for.